Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. I'm going to put this video up Sunday and I kind of think of this as kind of a good news video. No retirement? Here's some encouraging news. As many of you know, I think a lot of the videos out there and what we hear on the news is fear-based and doom and gloom. Well, guess what? I've got some good news for you. I do know folks out there that for a variety of reasons, maybe they don't have any retirement. doesn't even matter why that is. So, what does one do if they're, you know, a little bit older and they don't have retirement? Number one, work longer. Who says one has to retire at age 62 to 65? If you're healthy, if you enjoy your work, why not work longer? Many people who live longer, it's because they work and they feel they have value and they enjoy working. So there's no need that you have to retire. And I've actually known people that have retired, you know, maybe they had a pension at their job and they went back to work. By the way, this video that I'm talking about are people that might not work at a standard job where they offer 401ks. So, and that may be relevant to many people. So number one, work longer, as long as you're healthy. Number two, ditch any kind of debt as much as you can while you're younger so that you can live off less. And also with that I'm going to say is you have to replace things in your home. Work on doing that as you get older so when you do go into some of your older years, say your 70s and 80s, and say you want to slow down, you can live off less. And you have also have items that you know, are newer so you don't need everything replaced at that stage. Number three, develop multiple streams of income. I know some people that are older that they have Social Security, which that is not a lot. They're healthy, active people and they do all different kind of side jobs. Some of them do some house sitting, some pet sitting. Uh, one of them sells arts and crafts. You know, um, one of them makes homemade fudge at the holidays, you know, things like that. So you know, there's lots that just have multiple streams of income. Look at what your talents are because every little bit can help. So that's number three. Number four, invest whatever you can. Any amount is better than nothing. In 2019, that will be my year of learning more about investing. And I do have some investments, but that's the year I want to pump up my investments because this year I'm doing other goals, as you know. So invest what you can, get with some good, trustworthy people, and whatever you are able to do, do. Last but not least, number five, take care of yourself. We could spend all day long thinking about budgeting and, oh, we're not going to have enough and think, you know, like I said, that poverty thinking. But where there's a will, there's a way. We have to take care of ourselves. I, I get the AARP magazine and they have so many fantastic ideas in there for senior citizens that it's amazing. There's a lot of opportunities out there for everybody. And you know what? Just surround yourself with wonderful, positive people. Take care of your health to the best of your ability and just enjoy life a little bit. That's all I wanted to say. If you have any news on any of this, great. If you have anything positive to say, but there is always a way that we can do better for our life and to live a frugal and wonderful and fulfilled life. I appreciate y'all watching. Love you. Bye.